Investigators are on the scene of a deadly elevator accident in Midtown, and New York One's Vivian Lee is standing by with the very latest for us. Vivian. Hi there, Roma. We've now got even more details of this unthinkable elevator mishap that claimed one life. Sources are telling us that here at 285 Madison Avenue between 40th and 41st Street, there was a report of an elevator falling at least two floors. Meanwhile, other sources are telling us that the woman who died was actually stepping onto an elevator when that elevator shot up somehow and her body became trapped between the shaft and an elevator. Whether the two uh, malfunctions, if that's what we can call them at this time, are related is not known. But uh, as you can see behind me, there's still quite an involved scene here on Madison Avenue uh, between 40th and 41st Street. Uh, the FDNY is also saying, um, they told us earlier that the elevator appeared, that did appear to have fallen at least two floors, took place in this 28-story building with the Department of Buildings website now describing that someone somehow slipped between the shaft and the elevator. Two other people suffered minor injuries in this incident, and all of the victims' ages, sexes, and whether they work were working or visiting the building are not confirmed. The building, though, we know it belongs to WPP and is home to Young and Rubicam. And a statement from Young and Rubicam is calling this a tragic incident with no further description available. People who work in this building are horrified, and we caught up with one who says he was riding in an elevator when he heard a loud crash. The elevator was either next to me or one over. I heard this like loud boom crash, and just, like the whole thing kind of shaked. I got off and like I was like I didn't really think too much of it. I was I don't really know and then and then I heard like someone die. It was pretty extreme. One like a couple of the girls on my floor were like crying and really panicked. It doesn't really bother me the past, but I'll, I'll probably be more prone to taking the stairs now. So once again, an elevator malfunction of some kind with an official report from the fire department describing an elevator falling at least two floors, two people being injured, one person dying. But now sources are telling us that the woman who died was actually stepping onto an elevator on the first floor when that elevator shot up somehow and forced her body between the elevator and the shaft and she died. We're going to be working on this uh, scene, of course, and bringing you more details as they become available to us. For now, that's the very latest from Madison and 41st. I'm Vivian Lee. Roma, back to you. All right, Vivian, thank you.